I'm Old Sneelock. I've got another tip for how to salvage something that uh, other people would just pass by. I go to a lot of flea markets and garage sales. Kind of self-evident from all the junk hanging on the walls, right? When I first go to a garage sale, I look for the free table. That's where all the slightly damaged or uh, unknown what the hell the use of the thing is parts are. And I can find bargains. Dollar or two, sometimes even free. One of the things that I picked up is this little marking gauge. Don't know who made it. The name has long since been wiped away by the hands of time. But it's a nice little maple gauge and it's very solid. Uh, actually it might be beach. It's fairly old. Uh, works well except it has one problem. Somebody over tightened it. They've cracked the body of the, of the block here. Now if I tighten this screw up that spreads and that means that's going to split this thing all the way across and then it won't work at all. So what am I going to do? Well I'm going to fix it of course. First thing I'm going to do is slide the block off the bar. Then I'm going to remove the screw. And set up a clamping fixture. Which is a clamp mounted in the vise. Now that I have the fixture set up so I can go quickly to it, I'm going to apply the glue and then put the block in the clamp and then we'll leave it sit for a while. You can see that that gap opens up fairly easy. I'm going to use this wedging tool to help open that gap up just a little bit so I can get more glue down into that joint. Don't want to go too far, I'll crack it. I'm going to use my manual glue applicator, in other words my finger. And I want to force the glue down into that gap as much as possible so that I have it completely filled. Now I slip the block into the clamp and tighten it up. Not too tight, just a little glue squeeze out is all I'm really looking for. That means that I've got the joint together and it also means that I've forced that glue back into the joint further. Wipe off the excess. Clean up my knife. Make sure the glue bottle is closed. That's always the thing I forget to do. Now it's just a matter of patience waiting for this to set up. Doesn't take long. A couple hours it'll be all finished. Well, it's been more than a couple hours. More like a couple days. But the glue's set up and I'm ready to go on to the next step. So I just need some sandpaper. This is uh, 220 grit. It's what I happen to have. Now I take the face of the marking gauge and I just set it on there and sand it down.
Now we have the face of the marking gauge, all nice and flat and square. It'll slip onto the barrel. Locks down, no gap. Ready to make a mark anywhere you want it. A couple bucks, 20 minutes, another good tool. One of the things that you always want to remember to do with a marking gauge or any wooden tool is release the pressure on the screw. When this beam is down here in the basement, it gets dried out. Uh, there's very little humidity down here and it'll uh, shrink. So if I tighten this marking gauge up down here in the basement and set that screw snug, then I take this out into the weather, this beam's going to get bigger. Now this will get bigger too, but quite often they don't expand at the same rate. When that happens it'll put a tremendous amount of pressure on this block and that might, be, might have been why this thing cracked. It's a finishing touch, a little clean and prep. I'll make this last a lot longer because if I put a finish on it, it's going to keep the crap out of it. So final step, I'm going to clean up the bar, see if I can get those numbers to be a little bit more visible. And there's the marks. This is a 500 grit sandpaper, so I'm not taking off a whole lot. Just more shining off the surface and cleaning off some of the smudge. And I take some Restora finish. This is uh, something made by Howard. Seems to work pretty good. I always wear gloves when I'm using it. It's got a mineral oil base and over the years of using mineral oil and paint thinner to clean parts, I developed an allergy to it. So I try and make sure that I have everything just as clean as I possibly can 
and keep the crap off of my hands. Put it on, wipe it off, let it dry. Much better. Just a few extra minutes. Not only is it a usable tool, now it's a nice looking one. Now antique collectors may tell you that I've just ruined the value of this gauge. Well, they also would have told you that gluing it ruined the value. They also would have told you a lot of things. But I don't collect these. I use them. Now, I like the idea of bringing it back from the dead because this was on the junk table. It was ready to go in the trash. And I brought it back and made it useful again. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, take a moment and click like. It helps me understand what you'd like to see more of and helps the channel grow too. If you have any suggestions or ideas for a new video, just drop me a note in the comments section below. You know, I read them all.